Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to grow alfalfa sprouts quickly and easily in a two-tiered sprouter. The sprouts grow in just three to five days, and since you grow them yourself, you get to eat them fresh soon after they sprout. The sprouts are said to contain the most nutrients when they are eaten soon after they are harvested. I'm using these seeds. They are from Todd's Seed Company. I found these to be very clean and have a good germination rate. And here is the two-tiered sprouter that I will be using. I found this very easy and practical to use and it looks nicer than mason jars on your counter. You can use the mason jar technique of course and my next video will show you how to sprout alfalfa in a mason jar so watch out for that video coming soon if it's not out already. The sprouter comes with all the pieces you see here. The green tray on the bottom is the catch tray to catch the water as it's draining. And then there are two clear plastic trays so you can sprout two levels of seeds, either the same seeds or different seeds in each tray. And then there is the lid that fits on top. The top has drain holes, as do the two clear trays, so that you pour water over the top and it drains down through each layer and then collects in the bottom tray which you then empty. The bottom tray holds about a cup of water, so don't pour more than a cup of water over the top of the sprouter. Alfalfa sprouts are one of the most common sprouts you'll find in the supermarket if your supermarket carries sprouts. Okay, to start the process I measure out two teaspoons of seeds, one teaspoon for each tray, and I separate them into two glass dishes and then cover them with water to soak overnight. Alfalfa seeds are really tiny, so if you put them in the sprouter without soaking them, some of the seeds will fall right through the holes. By soaking the seeds, they expand to the point where they will not fall through the sprouter, and it also jump starts the germination process. You can see here how tiny the seeds are. It's a good idea to rinse your seeds a few times as well to make sure they are clean. Always buy alfalfa seeds from a reputable source. The seeds should be sold specifically for sprouting. Seeds from other sources might be cheaper, but you don't know if they've been treated with fungicides, pesticides, or anything else to preserve the seeds while they're being stored. And you definitely don't want to use seeds that have been treated with these chemicals. All right, let's leave the seeds to soak overnight. And while they are soaking, let's talk about the benefits of eating alfalfa sprouts. Alfalfa sprouts are rich in minerals and antioxidants. At the same time, alfalfa sprouts are low in calories. A 100 gram serving of alfalfa sprouts has only 23 calories, and at the same time, it is very dense in nutrients. According to the USDA, that 100 gram serving contains seven essential minerals, calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, zinc, in addition to these essential minerals, that 100 gram serving of alfalfa also contains at least 18 more important vitamins, as you can see here from this screenshot taken from the USDA website. You can see on this screen vitamin C, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, B6, folate, vitamin B12, and the list continues including some 33 nutrients. You can see here that alfalfa sprouts contain a large amount of vitamin K. This is 38% of the recommended daily value percentage. Vitamin K is also known to aid in blood clotting and build strong bones, and it is also helpful in regulating blood calcium levels. A note of caution, if you are taking blood thinners, you should avoid alfalfa or check with your doctor first before eating alfalfa or anything else that contains high amounts of vitamin K. All right, time to get back to our seeds, which have been soaking for about 10 hours. I will put some of the seeds in the top clear tray and the rest in the second clear tray. The bottom green tray is used to catch water, but since I have a sink nearby, I'm just going to pour the seeds into the trays over the sink. So first I pour half the seeds into one of the clear trays, and you can see the seeds are not falling through the holes. Since I have a sink handy, I run some more water over the top of the seeds to rinse them and make sure they are nice and moist. All right, now I put that tray on the green catch tray so that the excess water can drain into it. 
and I'm ready to pour the other half of the seeds into the second tray. After all the seeds have been poured out into the second tray, I run it under water to give the seeds a good rinse. Then I stack it on top of the first tray, which is stacked on top of the green catch tray. And to top it off, I put the green lid on. This lid also has holes, so if I didn't have a sink nearby, I could just pour a cup of water over the top and let it drain through the layers of seeds down to the bottom tray. I find it easier to do this over a sink if you have one handy. One more thing before I call it a day, I cover the seeds with a dish towel to block out the light. You can also put it in a dark cabinet in your kitchen if you don't want it sitting on your counter, but just make sure it's in a dark place for the next couple of days. All right, that's it for day one. Now it's the next day, day two, and let's have a look at the alfalfa sprouts. You can see the seeds have started germinating and are even starting to put out some roots. You need to rinse these at least twice a day. I usually do it once in the morning and once at night. You can pour a cup of water over the top and let it drain through to the bottom tray, or you can take the trays apart and run them under the water at the sink, which is what I like to do. You can see the seeds get a really nice rinsing over the sink. In my opinion, this is better than pouring just a cup of water on top. But if you don't have a sink handy, then that's what you'll need to do. Luckily, I do have a sink. When I'm done rinsing the seeds, I just put the seed trays back on top of the green catch tray. This way the excess water can drain into the tray, and then I cover up the sprouter so that the seeds are sprouting in the dark. Make sure to rinse the seeds twice a day to keep the sprouting seeds clean and moist. All right, it's the next day, day three, and let's take a look at the sprouter. You can see that we have some growth since yesterday. The seeds are putting down nice roots and also sprouting shoots as they grow taller. Keep rinsing the seeds like this twice a day. It's important to do this so that the seeds stay moist and clean. Then cover them up and leave them alone until it's time to rinse them again. Okay, now it's day four and you can see a lot more growth. The roots are all coming out through the bottom and if you look inside the trays you can see growth there as well. These sprouts are really very hardy, so don't be afraid to give them a good rinse. Then let them drain and cover them up until it's time to rinse them again. Remember to rinse them at least twice a day. At this point, I can see some of the sprouts are putting out yellow leaves. Once you see the yellow leaves, you can go ahead and leave the sprouter uncovered. It doesn't need a lot of light. The light in my kitchen is good enough for sprouts. You will see tomorrow the leaves will green up as the sprouts undergo photosynthesis and produce chlorophyll. So here it is day five and you can see the sprouts have really grown quite a bit and the leaves have all turned green since I left them uncovered so the light could reach them. These are ready to eat now but I'm going to leave them for another day. I don't need them right now. You can take out a bunch at a time to put in your salad and leave the rest to grow a bit more. So one more day and then tomorrow I'm going to harvest these. All right, today is harvest day. I like to use the basket from my salad spinner to put the freshly harvested sprouts into. I use this for my microgreens as well. Once I've harvested all these beautiful sprouts, I can easily rinse them in the basket and then spin them dry. I spread them over a paper towel and once they are somewhat dry, I store them in a glass storage container in the refrigerator. Well, that's it for growing alfalfa sprouts or really any type of sprouts. It is very easy to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. And leave your comments and suggestions below. Thank you for watching. Bye.